Hello everyone, this is Val, Valerie from um, Val's Crafts Creation and tonight I have a, well it's more as a, well it's an experiment that I want um, to bring tonight and tonight we're going to create some um, alcohol spray um, ink and because not everybody can afford um, to buy this at the store. I have my own. I have some um, shimmer mist. I have different color here on my shimmer mist. Um, I'm sorry, glimmer mist. And I also have um, some of this dilution uh, spray ink. I have um, two, f um, four of this. And then I have um, five of the glimmer mist. This Glimmer Mist, I got it uh, Tuesday morning, and this I got it um, Joan Fabric. But tonight we're gonna uh, create some with acrylic paint. And I got this acrylic paint um, on at Ross. It was thin acrylic paint for $4.99. So I, I pick, out of the 10 color, I pick four. Um, that I don't have on my sprays already. So I'm gonna use this for um, acrylic paint. I also got um, this loose eyeshadow um, to do the, uh, this is gonna be like the glimmer mist. So they came on this LA, uh, the brand is LA Colors and they came on this package. Um, I got this at Dollar Tree and what I did was um, I bought these containers at Dollar Tree. They're a storage container. There are six in a package. And what I did with this, I just um, removed the sticker and I put it on the cover of the container. And then I opened this uh, from the bottom and put it in this container. So it's easier to work with it. But tonight I'm only gonna use the Snow White I just wanted to show you that I got two colors because depending um, on what color I was gonna use, um, like I got this one for making browns and dark colors, but I'm gonna use this one tonight. And this is the Snow White. I also got these spray bottles. I also got them at Dollar Tree. There are two in a package and there are two uh, ounces each. So I got four of those. And I got those at uh, Dollar Tree. We're gonna need water, and we're gonna need, um, need alcohol because this is gonna um, it's it's gonna be um, well. We're gonna do alcohol ink, but this will help for to set the um, eyeshadow, the loose eyeshadow in the bottles, and then when you use it on your paper, you won't they won't stick onto your hand. But um, the more percentage that you get is better. I couldn't find, I was looking for the 91%, but I couldn't find it. So I got the 70% at Walmart. And I saw that in Dollar Tree, they had the 70% and they also had the 50%. But if you can get the 91% it's better, the, the, more, uh, the higher the percentage, the better. But you get it. If you, you, if you have some alcohol at home, just use what you have. You don't need this, the eyeshadow. If you don't want to do then um, like a shimmer um, alcohol spray, because this one don't have that. This is just regular alcohol ink. But if you want to do shimmer ones, um, like the Glimmer Mist from Tater, Tater Angels, then um, you can... Did you see? They have mica on it, but I have some mica powder, but since we're trying to work in a budget, I just went to Dollar Tree and get the loose eyeshadow. So you don't have to have mica powder and you can get all your stuff at Dollar Tree. In Dollar Tree, they only, they also have um, acrylic paint that you can use. So um, tonight we're gonna create, uh, we're gonna experiment and we're gonna create um, some alcohol spray. So I hope uh, you have some of this material at home. You can um, 
do your own alcohol um, ink. I got this uh, small, um, I don't remember the name, but just to, you see, to put, um, I think I, I got this from, it's some popsicle um, trays that I got. So I'm gonna use this to put the water and the alcohol in. And for the alcohol, you're gonna fill the bottle it's good. You're gonna use maybe three quarters of the bottle. It's gonna be alcohol. So I'm just gonna pour the alcohol here. And you don't fill it out up to the uh, top. So I just left some space here on the top. And I'm gonna put the um, acrylic paint. For the acrylic paint, you don't need a lot. So I just, I'm gonna put like two drops of the of the acrylic paint. And then for this, you, you don't need a lot either. I have a quarter um, teaspoon here, but I'm not gonna fill it up all the way, just a little bit. Let me put this, let me see if I can do it like that. And I'm gonna check it out, and then I'm gonna add the water, and we're gonna try and see. Okay. And let me put, it, then I will fill the rest with the water. I did this a long time ago, but I couldn't find the ones that I made um, before, so I'm just making new ones and with different colors that I don't have. Let's see, I had here some um, photo photo paper. Um, you can get this at Dollar Tree, Dollar General, any store. Um, I got mine from a thrift store for 75 cents. It has 50 sheets, soft gloss, color picture paper. So I'm gonna use this to try my um, inks and see how they look. So let's try this one first. And I wanna see if I can see the shimmer. And just a little bit. So I, I'm gonna add a little bit more of the eyeshadow. Maybe I should use the yellow one for this one, but the golden one. Shake it. I can see some of the eyeshadow in here, but I, I don't think that you're gonna see it on camera. But so let's wait for that to dry and let's um, create another color. Let me put this aside. And let me get another bottle. I know I was watching some videos on how to do this. Some people put glue on like the white regular um, glue, school glue. Just, it's, it's something about setting um, the um, eyeshadow or the mica powder, uh, the powder that you use to set it. So that way when you use it on your paper and you touch it after it's dry, um, you can't, um, it won't come up to your hands. Okay. And you don't need the, um, the eyeshadow. I'm just gonna put more than I did before. Let me check it out. I 
and let me add the water. This is very easy to make, and if you're on a budget, but you want um, alcohol ink spray, you can do it yourself. Let's use the same paper. I don't know if you can see the shadow, but let me try. Let me clean my hands for to see if I can remove um, the eyeshadow powder from let me just clean my hands. Yeah, I can still move it around. I, oh, you know what? I, 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 I forgot something. Just a second. Another thing that you needed to add is hairspray. The one that is um, like liquid, not the aerosol one. I forgot that I needed to add some of this. And I forgot to buy some today, but I have some here. And I use the Hairball Hessence Spray Gel um, hairspray. Let me put some on this one too. And if you don't have the hairspray, then you can use the glue, the white glue. So let's try it. Okay, let's try another color now. We're gonna leave this to dry a little bit and then I will make a video with that paper when you get um try I will use it to to do something with it so let me try another color we did the pink we did the yellow this, this is kind of a neon yellow yeah neon yellow and I'm gonna try now with the neon purple red and let me see. No, this one was the neon purple red, I think. Now they look the same. <laughs> yeah, because this one. And then we're gonna use now the neon pink. So I just wanted um, to show you that you don't need expensive, um, to buy expensive um, material to do your craft or do your art. Um, you can use things that you can find at Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Walmart, um, cheap, that are cheaper than buying your own, you know, buying the regular um, items at a craft store. So let's do it. I just wanted to show you that you can craft in a budget that you don't need expensive material to to create something beautiful. Oh my God. Okay. That's the spray. Oh, let me put the spray.
These ones are kind of similar, but they're not the same. Let me check it. So for the total with the acrylic paint, because I didn't have any like like this. Um, it was uh, this is four ninety nine. The two package for the um, spray bottle was two fifty. That's seven fifty, and then this a dollar twenty five. And you need the spray and the alcohol. So maybe with ten dollars you can get your own sprays. Some of these um, alcohol spray, they are maybe five, six dollar each. So if you're on a budget, you can create your own. We're gonna wait until this get a little bit dry. And then I'm gonna uh, do a sample with the regular ones. So you can see how they look. Um, but these ones are um, neon colors. So they're kind of, of softer than the one that I have, but can show you. Okay, this is the last one that we were gonna make today. And I, I got this um, alcohol at Walmart, I think it was 154, but they have it at Dollar Tree too for um, 125. And you don't have to put your eyeshadow in a container like this. I just wanted to do it like that um, because it was easy for me to work with this because for um the the package where the eyeshadow comes if you open it on the top it had this little um brush and you can see here it's a small um space to get your um eyeshadow out so i just prefer to do it this way and it's quicker too okay so let me check this one Oh, I think I forgot the hairspray on this one. So you need your paint. You can I, I, you can also use uh, markers, like permanent markers. I saw people doing videos like that with that, but it's easier this way for me. So you need liquid um, hairspray, like this ones that come in a bottle like this, spray. And then you need your alcohol, your acrylic paint, water. And if you want to do shimmer ones, you can use the eyeshadow. If not, you don't need it. And you will have your own ink spray. And I know that you maybe you cannot see the eyeshadow. Now it's working with the hairspray. It's not moving around and you cannot move the eyeshadow with your finger. I have paint on my finger. Let me clean it up. Okay, let's try this one. And for this one, I'm gonna use a stencil. Let me get one here. And see how it looks. I don't like 
is to um you can see a little bit but it's too um i need it's too soft the color for this one i'm gonna add a little bit more orange But they're all soft colors, so. But you get the idea what I wanted to do. Um, but you can see it there a little bit, the design. So I'm gonna wait for this to dry, but I'm gonna show you with the regular ones. But this one are darker colors, but. And then let you stick green. And if you have a water bottle, you can move this around. See if, if I can move the um, spray around with the other ones that we just created. But let me finish with this one. And I'm gonna use this as an up background, maybe on a tag. I may use this paper for a tag or maybe um, an ATC. Okay, and the last color that I'm gonna use for this one is purple. And let me see with the stencil. Let me clean it up a little bit. This stencil is from Prima. Um, uh, Finaver Prima stencils. So now I'm gonna show you um, the this ones, the glimmer mist. Let's put this one to dry, and then let's try with the um, with this ones. Let's use yellow, and the name of this one is. Let me see if we say it. It's spring sun. We have to check it real well because we have the mica powder on the bottom. Look at my hands. So this one is, uh, they're like softer colors, like the ones that we just created. And let's use this pink uh, spring sunset. And this one you can um, move then around to with water. Let's try this one. And let me see what all the color we have here. Um, let's try the blue. I have blue veil and I have spring ring. Let me use blue veil. This one is the darker color. I'm 
and just trying to create a background. that we created i'm gonna put some water on the paper too and see how the, that work They look similar colors. Let me try the yellow. So this is the first one that we did. And this is the second one. On this one, I didn't use the pink. Let me put some of the, of the darker pink. I wanna try the stencil again and see um, if I can do a better job. Let me dry it here. This is a um, light, lighter color, so you can hardly see them, but you can pick your own um, darker color if you want. But this is the basic to do your own spray, alcohol spray. Let's see. Yeah, you can see it there. Let me see, let me put it up so you can see. It's just that it's a lighter color, so I don't know if you can see the design of this stencil. Let me do a little bit down here. hardly see because it's a, a lighter pink you can see it better on this one with the yellow maybe i should use some yellow let's see put it here on the top See it there. Can you see the yellow here on top of the pink? I really like it. I, I like this color because I wanted some lighter color than what I have. And um, when this is dry, I'm gonna do a video um, creating some things with these um, papers that we are decorating right now. But on this here, you can see it um, better. So um, it's just because it's, it's picture paper, but let me try another piece of paper, a different one, let's see. Um, let me 
Let's see what's, what I have around here. Let me get a, a regular piece of paper. I just got this cash book today because I want something to be, when you lay it down, it's um, like, it don't have, it's, it, it lay flat. So let's try one of these cash pages and see how they look on a different piece of paper. I think you can see it better on this one. I'm trying. I usually um, prep the paper, the pages with uh, my art journal with um, white gesso or black gesso before I do something on it. But I just, for the purpose of this video, I just wanted to try it. And I will use it, I will do something in the background on this. I can see the eye shadow glimmer. Is that, and that's how you say glimmer or, yeah, glimmer. Yeah, you see on this kind of paper, you can see better the colors than in the, um, well, this one you can see it on the, pic on the picture paper. I really like it. You can see the shimmering of the eyeshadow. So on this regular paper, you can see the color better. You can see it. I'm gonna put some yellow on this side. Can you see it? I really like it, how it look. I like this um, colors, the soft color. They're neon color, but they're softer um, than the ones that I already have. This is the ones that I did with the dilution ink. And then um, this is the one that we just made with the, um, the acrylic paint. This is the other one. Let me get the ones that we did with the um with this one with the glimmer mist. This is the one with the glimmer mist. They're almost dry. So if you use our darker acrylic paint, you will get something like this. And maybe you get um neon colors but darker than the ones that I I pick, you will get something like this. But if you like softer, muted colors, then you can go to, you know, something like this. I really like it, look at this one. I don't know if you can see the design of the stencil, but I really like the soft colors. And then the last one is here on my sketchbook. Okay, so this is everything for today. This is all for today. Um, if you have a question, you can leave it on your comments below. And I hope that you can create your own um, alcohol ink sprays. Have a good night.